Right now, it is time to bring in Pat Pagano and uh, take a look at the forecast, not only for a week, but yes, we are going to peek into the weekend as well. And this past weekend should have been Memorial Day weekend because it was actually a really great weekend, Pat. No, you could say, you could think it was a great weekend. I didn't. Why? And it was too hot and too humid. Oh, well, that's the yeah, idea. Yeah, it was humid. I had the air conditioners going, but still... Uh, it was a, it was a nice weekend, and next weekend looked like it's going to be uh, going to be cloudy and 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 I won't say cool, but uh, it, it looks like at this early stage cloudy and cooler. We we still don't know the uh, the jury is out on that, but 96 degrees at Newark Airport on Saturday and to me is not nice, especially <laughs> with the humidity up. And I was at the lake, and it was brutal, even at the lake. Um, uh, 94 at JFK Airport. I mean, it's unheard of, uh, you know, to have heat that extreme uh, at this time of the year. And, of course, the cool front came by yesterday. Yeah, there was a shower here and there, but uh, no big deal. Uh, and today, you know, it'll be partly sunny, only in the low 70s. So, you know, a good 20 degrees cooler. Partly cloudy tonight, low 50s. Variably cloudy Tuesday, a warm front going by, 70 to 75. Then it's hazy and humid, 85 to 90 Wednesday, with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Behind that front, partly sunny, less humid, near 80 Thursday. And then another low comes out of the plains. Timing is the key. Uh, it will cloud up Friday. When does the rain come in? Toss a coin. Who knows? Earlier it comes in, the earlier it leaves Saturday. Later it comes in, the later it leaves Saturday. Um, originally, uh, computer models were forecasting Sunday and Monday to be wet. Now they moved it to Friday and Saturday. And the latest GFS model said that Sunday may be the only day, this Memorial Day weekend, that may be dry. So they don't have a clue either. And it's all about timing. And on a Monday, I wouldn't hang my hat on any of it. I would just say, you know what, folks? Let's take it through Thursday, and as we go through the week, uh, we'll slowly, slowly zoom in on the holiday weekend. You know my thinking. My thinking, if I wake up Saturday morning at a training, that's it. Uh, the lake gets canceled for the day. Then if it's nice Sunday, and it's going to be nice into Monday, I'll go Sunday into Monday. Uh, if it's just going to be nice Sunday and be, uh, you know, not so nice on Monday, I won't go at all. And that'll be the end of that for me. And the lake. How do you like those apples? I need the mouse report. Okay, so we got there. And um, the porch, some of the panels on the porch, screen porch were down. I knew that. Uh, but the porch, aside from the floor covered with pollen, was spotless. Nothing. And I saw this great, great sign. Opened the door, went into the kitchen. First thing I always do is check the sink. Zero. Nothing. Then I check on top of the refrigerator. Zero. Nothing. I look on the kitchen table. Nothing. Go into the bedroom. Nothing. Anywhere. And I said, oh, thank you, Lord. So uh, my friend David popped by to help me put on the refrigerator. We always have a problem putting the refrigerator on. The igniter doesn't work, so we have to pull it out, get behind it, light it from there. But... Anyhow, so we did that, and then it was about 3 o'clock, and I wanted to leave because I left Shirley home, and um, I didn't want her staying long, too long. So I said, let me close up the windows and everything like that, and I'm doing that. And I said, oh, let me do one last thing. Let me get on this chair and check on top of the two cabinets. So I checked on top of the tin cabinet where I keep the food. There was nothing. It was absolutely just the way, you know, uh, it should be. Then when I checked on top of the cabinet near the sink, I found a couple of droppings. Uh -oh. So I was upset. I left there upset, but like a big dope. Do you think I cleaned that? No. Yeah. I left it there. You would think that I would have had the uh, thought, let's clean this so that when we come back the following weekend, we could monitor it and see if anything new is there. But I didn't do that. And the, the, the other question is, was that there 
from when we closed up. I was going to say that that's the, that's the whole thing. Well, you'll know because how many, you you you'll know if there's a difference the next time you go up. I, I yeah, because in my mind I can still see it was only a couple, yeah. uh, and and to me the whole thing was strange because I'm thinking to myself, why wouldn't there be a trace anywhere in that cabin, including the porch, except up there on that cabinet? It makes sense. Yeah, well, you'll find out when you come out. It's probably left over that you just never saw from from before. I hope you're right. But aside from that, that was it. And uh, I left there a little after 3 o'clock and uh, came home to a even hotter uh, climate down here in the Hudson Valley. It really was hotter here. Uh, you know, the lake was a little bit cooler, but I would say the lake was about 89, 89 degrees, but very humid. Not much of a breeze up at the lake. I didn't see anyone in the lake, so maybe the water's still cold. I don't know. But there were people up, and everybody was, uh, you know, um, fussing and opening up their uh, their places and stuff like that. And uh, that's it. I, I, I sprayed the area with paint that uh, that I need a platform made for the porta potty. <clears throat> and I called my guy Raphael, and he's going to go up there this week and, and fix that up. And um, one part of the uh, inside of the house over the sink peeled the ceiling peeled and I'm wondering why because I, I used primer and paint and I asked Raphael and he said um, well we had done that I said yeah he said but we used latex what did you use I said I used oil he goes that's why it peeled yeah right over the what? light yeah, it won't yeah hold. It won't he hold. said you don't put oil paint over latex yeah it won't hold yeah he's right I'm not a painter, but I I know that from what I you know that right. So that was it, and uh, and I heard the coming. I heard the um, um, announcements for um, a quiet place too, starting Friday. Yep. And you should feel better now uh, on uh, Rotten Tomatoes. Um, Those who wish me dead is now ranked three in favorability. What was it originally? Oh, it got it was it was way down the list, and you were very surprised. Now, yeah, more people have been watching it, and it's now ranked number three. Okay. So you so so your your initial feeling was right. Okay. There you go. I still think it. I still think it deserves uh, better than a three. But then again, you know, everybody to their own choice. Well, it might it might raise up more people that watch it. Obviously, like it. So it's it's right. you know that's the whole. The more people that review it is how their their ratings go. I so the you. more people that watch it, the better chance it has of going up. So I didn't watch it. I came close to watching it this weekend, but uh, I didn't. I actually was watching a lot of Major League Baseball this weekend. So. Oh, okay, good. So you had a nice weekend? Uh, it was a yeah, d- decent weekend. I can't complain, you know. I mean, we had a horrible weekend up here. A person drowned in the Housatonic uh, very early on in the season. And, uh, you know, it's always bad news. Uh, and it was not so. It was a local person as well. So, um what people forget is when it's hot out and uh, and you go in the water, uh, the water's cold and it's running swiftly because the Housatonic has been a very high. And if you and if you're wearing regular clothes like blue jeans or something like that, uh, yeah. oh, it's it's, it's so uh, very sad. Our condolences go out to the family, but uh, and our thanks to all the local rescue workers and state police for working like four or five days to find the body. So, oh. but that made it a, it made it a bad weekend. But other than that, it was a good weekend. So. Okay. Can't complain, can't complain. Uh, I'm inhaling and exhaling here on Monday morning as I was on Friday afternoon. <laughs> Good for you. All right, Pat, we will check with you tomorrow. Okay, that sounds good. Have a nice day. Take care, Pat. Bye-bye. Pat Pigano this morning in the Weather Center with a check on our tri-state forecast here on Robin Hood Radio.